Love here, and I am here today to celebrate Angel Dream Crafts Kim on Etsy's third birthday. Way to go, Kim. I'm so proud of you. Congratulations. And we are celebrating today by having a YouTube hop, which is always a good time. I believe it's the second year in a row we've done this. I just love it. And of course, there are prizes to be won. Uh, the first prize is a uh, 35 US dollar gift certificate to the shop. And of course, you can find a link to Angel Dream Crafts Kim on Etsy below in my description box. And the second prize will be a lace goodie bag from Kim from the shop, which is also awesome. And some of the designers may be having giveaways on their individual channels. I know I am. So, um, I am giving away a, a lace goodie bag as well, so it's very exciting. All you have to do to be entered to win is to subscribe to the designer's channels and leave comments on their videos. And of course, I will have a link to all of the designers below so that you can go over and check them out and see what they've made for the hop. And be sure to subscribe and leave a comment for your chance to win one of the amazing prizes. So this is what I made for the hop, and it is just dripping, literally dripping, with goodies from Angel Dream Crafts Kim on Etsy. I mean, it is my favorite place to get dangles. I'm just saying. All of these dangly bits are from the shop. So I decided to make a fabric book. Actually, I had made the base, I don't know how long ago, and then I worked on it just here and there forever it seemed like and I finally finished it and then I saved it to share with you uh, during the hop. I just absolutely love the way it turned out. It's so cute. So the book is completely fabric and um, most of the pages I made using my, um, I covered it all up, now you can't see, but the way I like to use snippets to make fabric. So most of the pages are made with fabric snippets except for the front um, and back cover. I use this really pretty um, embroidered eyelet, which is just adorable. So here is the front. I used this uh, beautiful applique right here to kind of frame this corner. And then I printed out this adorable image onto fabric. And then I sewed it onto a piece of lace here in the back with a piece of cheesecloth in between. I love the way that looks. That's one of my favorite things to do is to make these little like, I don't know, little patches. They're just cute. And then I used some of this trim from Angel Dream Crafts to put in the corners. I, I just cut this up into little three flower bunches and then stick them everywhere. I love them, but it's, it is sold by the yard, actually. Adore that. And then these, my favorite uh, ribbon roses, look at how pink they are. They're so perfect. So I put those across. And she has got an amazing selection of cabochons. So of course I have some pink rose cabochons I added here and there. And then she does of course sell bulb pins in different colors and I tried to use, um, put little bulb pin charms here and there. And this beautiful, I'll try to show you them separately, but this beautiful dangle, look at this, I love it. That came from her shop. All the dangles came from her shop. Let me just get that out of the way. And then this is the basket weave dangle. I love that so much. And then the rest of them are on the um, inside page. So I'll show you when I get there. I used this beautiful lace. I love the color on this. This, I'm not sure if she has this in stock. As a matter of fact, I don't think she does. But you check back often because she's always getting new stuff and then she's restocking. Um, things also and I love this so I put that right there on the corner and then on the back of the book I used another one of these beautiful cabochons with some more of this lace that I cut up with this giant bow applique that I have in my stash I just think it's so cute <laughs> all right so let me show you the inside um, on this side I made a little pocket page and I put a doily in the background which she does have doilies and I, I'm not sure if she still has doily like grab bags I don't know you'll have to go check it out but she does have um, some doilies in the shop and then uh, here's the dangles so this lace has a good like inch and a half 
up at the top, and then it has these hanging off the bottom, which are just beautiful. And look how long they are. And then here is some beautiful pink fringe trim. I'm not sure if she still has any pink fringe, but you should go check because she usually does have like a white and a pink. And then I think she also has a shorter white fringe too. Because you know, I'm all about the fringe trim. Oh, and then I made a little um, like fabric tag to stick in the pocket with this little teapot image. Isn't it so cute? And so in the middle, I use some of her um, English Clooney lace, which, okay, I am a fan of English Clooney lace. I am loving it, and it's all Kim's fault. I put a little um, Battenberg heart right here, and then um, some more of the dangles. Love the dangles. And this is, I like to call this the little sugar heart, because it just looks like a little heart coated in sugar. It's so sparkly and cute. I love it. And then here's the little image I added on this page with some of my um, snippet fabric in the back. Just love it. And this beautiful lace I got from a friend of mine and I added some pink seam binding in it and I just think it's so cute. I absolutely love it. So on this page, I printed out some more um, images and text on fabric and made more of those little patches I like to make. So I've sewed them down on lace with cheesecloth in between and then added them to the page. And here is a uh, gold pin, and this is a charm that Kim carries in her shop. Do you la love that? It's a little mug with a heart in it. I love that charm so much. It's one of my favorites. One of my favorites. I put another one of her sugar hearts right here. And then on this page is the little teacups with the bird, isn't it cute? And then more of this. You see, she sells this by the yard, but you see how much use I get out of it because I just cut it up and just add bits of it here and there. And it's just such a pretty little embellishment. Love that. And then, of course, more yumminess on the bottom and some more of her uh, ribbon roses, which she does have in other colors, but this is me and I want all the pink ones. So <laughs> there is more to choose from. If you're not um, pink crazy like me and so here is a couple more of those little fabric patches I made this one it has the teapot this one says friends and I added uh, bows wherever I could I love it and so here's another bulb pin and this um, tea bag look at this cute little tea bag it even says tea on that I love it so that is a charm from her shop she has such a great variety of charms more of the Clooney lace in the middle. And then here is the image on this side with more of the snippet fabric in the background. Rolled roses and hello. Love it. So on this page, look at that image, isn't it cute? I have on the bulb pen the teapot, a charm that is from Kim's shop as well with more luscious dangles and Clooney lace and then I made a pocket over here um, this came from um, a lace I believe it was a lace that Kim has in the shop and it just has like this big medallion that I just love so I put that right there I made a little pocket and then here is one of those little fabric patches I like to make is this little bluebird and so I just stuck it right there in the pocket with more of the ribbon roses. Can you tell that I love her ribbon roses? Yeah. <laughs> and here's the back. So it's just a sweet, sweet little book um, that I loved creating and I'm so happy that I get to share it with you today uh, for this YouTube hop. So um, don't forget to follow the link and hop along to all the designers and their links are below. Make sure you subscribe and leave a comment on everybody's video and the winners are going to be drawn on June 28th. So make sure you get to subscribing and leaving comments everyone and please leave me a comment and let me know what you think to be entered in my specific giveaway. And I hope everyone is doing well and thanks for stopping by everybody. I'll see you on the next one.